or another crater inside the Halima'uma'u crater. And uh, by late November of that year, 2008, they set up cameras on the rim of that volcano to where they could look down into the hole and they began to see lava down there deep within that hole. It wasn't until about 200 and, uh, I should I say 2010, early 2010, that they consistently saw a lake of lava down in that hole. So down in this hole that you're going to see, where you're going to see all this smoke coming up, there is actually a lake of lava. So sometimes we can see red. So if we were going to see any kind of red today on this tour, this first stop here would be the spot that there's a possibility of maybe seeing some low-level fountaining occurring out here. Now sometimes we have collapsing occur. Actually, this hole that you're going to see where all that gas is. So again, follow this paved pathway over to the left and it'll take you up, take you over to the building over there, the restroom. Supposedly used it for the rock lamps in old Hawaii and their torches as well. So we'd take that nut and we'd rub it on the nut that we had kind of sanded down, polished up, and it would uh, make it uh, come to a nice glossy, give it a nice glossy shine. So that's what we used to do with the uh, kukui nuts. And uh, if you heard of a nut that's edible, well, that would also be the kukui nut. It's just that you don't want, you don't want to eat too many of them. Uh, drivers sometimes refer to them as the the one, two, three nut because uh, by the time you get to the third one, look out there. It, you can actually use it as a laxative. Uh, so it's a nut that you don't want to. Watch over and protect it. One end of sound of such roar. One upon the land. 